All right, Eric's gonna take us through the Swedish AK-5. We have two variants here on the table. They're modified versions of the FN FNC 556 assault rifle. He spent many years in the Swedish military using the gun. He's gonna take us through some of the key points on it. Have at it, Eric. Okay, this is the ordinary AK-5 as we build it after the FNC. The only thing that is different with this one is that we put a rail on this one in the aimpoint factory to just get our optic on. Today they have two versions of this one, a shorter version, and then they have a rail system in the front here also. They've upgraded it, right? With they have a collapsible upgraded. stock and whatnot? Yeah. Okay, now this would be the law enforcement version. The only different thing with this one is, uh, of course, you have a shorter barrel, but you also have only uh, one semi-automatic. Semi -automatic. You don't have the automatic on that one. Now, you guys have had this gun in service for since the 1980s, is yeah, that correct? That's correct. Okay, and I know along the way you've upgraded it with not only different furniture but the rail, but you have a new program with a collapsible stock and the rail panels up front. It's a pretty slick gun. I've been looking forward to light it up. That's one of the things I wanted to make sure you guys brought it out for me when we came over here to Sweden, so uh, we're fixing to bust some caps with the AK-5. Start out with some semi. Okay, now, lead farmer mode. Okay, so just like shooting an FNC, one of the things you know about on an FNC full auto, very controllable cyclic rate of fire. I guess it's because of the bolt mass or whatnot, but the gun is very controllable and easily, let's say, within 10, 15 yards, you can keep double or even triple taps on target with no problem at all. Now, one thing here I wanna show you, the FNC has a spring-loaded dust cover, a little curtain right here, and as the bolt comes to the rear, it rides up and then closes back down to clear this channel to keep sand and debris out of it. I'm gonna bust some more caps if you don't mind. Eric's gonna run me through a live fire drill out here that kind of follows up some of the stuff we were doing back at aim point with the laser. The gun I'm using is the impossible to get in the United States, Damaco or Colt Canada CQB weapon. It's got a lot of cool features I'll take you through later. And I wanted to make sure I jumped at the chance to shoot this since there's no way to do this, little puppy in the States. All right, Eric. We will start with the right target and I want you to bring up the barrel and the side. And when you see the red dot, and when you see when it comes into the chest, take your shot. All right, here we go, going hot. Good deal. Excellent. Now I want you to take the first shot when you see the red dot and you have control over the barrel on the way up. So okay. if it's the belly bottom, take the first shot in the belly bottom. Okay. Ready? Ready, going hot. Yeah. Good deal. Then we do it a little bit more tricky. The target in the middle, when you have a balloon, I still want you to take a low shot, and then I want you to take a high shot without shooting the balloon. Okay. With that bad boy bouncing around, it might be kind of tough, but I'll see what I can do. Ready, going hot. That makes you to change your focus point from the belly button or from the chest and bring up the red dot over the balloon and take mm -hmm. care of the balloon. It makes you playing around with your focus. When I go to and train them, I normally do this type of uh, exercise. Good Depends deal. on the customer. Thanks for running me through the drill. All right, gang, let me take you through the Colt Canada, formerly known as Damaco CQB weapon. A few things to note here. This has the Canadian spec upper receiver. The way you tell it, it has 14 cross slots, not 13, and it has a little scallop in the back. It has the newer style butt stock. It has this butt pad on the end, and also it has a pebble grain texture. You can spot it a mile away. Very rare in the United States. Another thing you see is it has a unique sling swivel attachment point here. And one of the cool things about it, it has an ambidextrous safety. One of the things Damaco did is they shortened this side. So when it's on fire and a right-handed shooter is using it, it's not digging in his hand. 
It has a tri-rail up front, this clamp-on system, which is kind of a poor man's rail system. So you use your standard hand guards and you still have the ability to mount a flashlight up front. Very, very cool gun. And generally something you can only shoot in Canada or over here in Europe. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.